Greetings fellow farmyard animals of the internet. I'm the wielder of sheep and I'm happy to finally be able to bring you the results of our galaxy war. This tournament took a monumental amount of effort, but we finally got our remaining eight teams down to one. Let's see how the last stage of the tournament progressed. Firstly, our teams were randomly assigned a bracket within the double elimination style tournament. The great thing with this style of tournament is that even if you lose your first game, you still have a chance to come back as you can progress through the loser's ladder. Lose a second time and you're out. When the dust finally settled after the first battles, we had to say goodbye to the Vikings and the Brazilian Legion. GG guys, thanks for playing, I appreciate your efforts. In round 2, interestingly, the two teams with the strongest reputation went against each other. Mockingbird beat Diva, putting them in the loser's ladder along with Stark Industries. Here, Stark Industries knocked out Unitas Gloria and Diva at the score. In round 3, a surprising win from the underdogs Naya against Mockingbird and Diva eliminated Stark Industries. This then led to Diva vs Mockingbird to see who would fight against Naya in the final. Yes, that's right, Naya in the final. Who'd have thought it? Despite coming so far with the final battle in sight, Diva succumbed to the salt side and quit the tournament. Perhaps they didn't want to play against Mockingbird again. Who knows? This led Naya and Mockingbird to battle again for the top prize. Perhaps fatigued, Naya, although fighting bravely, were wiped out by Mockingbird, who I am happy to announce as the winners of the Galaxy War. Here are the final standings. This tournament was intended to demonstrate the state of competitive play in Robocraft beyond the current league arena. For as long as I can remember, the community has asked for a formal team tournament, and because of this outcry, I was motivated to see if the community could live up to its demands. But as you probably noticed, this tournament took a good five months to complete, when it really should have only taken two. With 20 teams answering my announcement video, the interest was definitely there, and that was just simply awesome. As a result, I put a lot of time and effort into organising all of this. Now, I could spend the rest of this video going on a big long rant about what went wrong, but to be honest, ain't nobody got time for that. So here are the TLDR of my findings. Managing 20 teams only works if 20 teams are actually viable and willing to commit to a fight. A lot of time went into restructuring the tournament and trying to find a fair way to progress the tournament when it became clear that only 10 of those teams were actually organised and mature enough to compete. Teams were disorganised and players found it difficult to commit when the state and popularity of Robocraft kept changing. This was especially true during July and August when there were like 5 major changes to the meta. Robocraft simply isn't stable enough for a long term tournament. Players are only going to play if they think they are on top form and have an advantage, which when the meta changes so often, they then try to stall the tournament in order to have time to keep up with those changes. This got to the point that during the three weeks of Brickcraft, we all decided to pause the tournament. It just wasn't fun to play competitively at that time. Sadly, the emotional maturity of much of the player base isn't there. Certain players lost patience and decided it was more fun to troll, store the tournament and test those rules. I even received a lot of personal abuse which made it kind of not so fun to host the tournament. Anyway, moving on, here are my suggestions for future tournaments longer than a single event. Of course, clear definable rules stated at the beginning of the tournament that cover any and every eventuality and attempt to disrupt the tournament. For instance, what to do in the events of disconnects. Include fewer teams and only those who have a reputation for being able to play consistently. One team per clan. Zero tolerance on players' behaviour and attempts to stall. Time limits are useful. And restrict teams with complicated time zones. I also found using the timeanddate.com very helpful. Finally, I have to conclude that it's not really worth FreeJam's time and resources investing too much more in competitive aspects of Robocraft. It's best to leave the community to organise the tournaments themselves, they know what's best. I'd like to congratulate Mockingbird once again, and thank FreeJam for supplying the premium and great prizes. I was very impressed to see Naya get so far. Naya gets the participation award for promptly playing every game asked of them with little organisational hassle. GG, well played everybody. If you have any comments, feel free to discuss them below. Maybe like and subscribe. My video is usually a lot more fun than this one. I could be convinced to do more tournaments in the future if people are seriously interested. Let me know. Ciao for now.